Welcome to the Serious Shift Blogcast. We have only one question. What does Serious Shift mean to you? To answer that and much more, here's your host, Dennis Mosley-Williams. Hi, I'm Dennis, and welcome back to the Serious Shift Blogcast, episode number 116. I hope we have some fun uh, with this one today. So thank you very much for being on the short list. <laughs> of people who have been receiving this blog for a really, really long time, either reading it or watching it. Thank you. This is a blog about the shortlist. And my question is, are you on the shortlist? Do you know how to get on the shortlist? So let's dive in. Um, I think you can see it in my face and hear it in my voice. I'm just feeling funny today. <laughs> so here it goes. There's all, there's, every industry's got a shortlist. There's a short list of people. Um, let's call them screenwriters who would have Steven Spielberg's telephone number. Okay, these would be people who have already had a lot of success, right? There's a very short list of people who could call up Steven Spielberg, who Steven Spielberg would recognize their voice on the phone. Oh, hello, Dennis. How are you? And I'm calling with this fantastic idea I have. I'm on his short list. And he likes the idea. So he says, well, who are you thinking of getting direct? I'll produce it, Dennis. Who do you, who's going to direct it? And I'd have a short list of directors. I'd say, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Who are you thinking you might want to cast in it? And I'd have a short list of leading men and women to be in it, right? And if we got right, we could just keep on going, right? Who's going to write the score? Well, I have a short list of composers, you know, that I'm considering, et cetera, et cetera, and costume designers, and you name it. There's always a short list. There's a short list of speakers for conferences. There's always a short list. There's an ad agency somewhere who wants to pitch something, and they need a voiceover to pitch it. And you know Morgan Freeman's on that short list. Let's get Morgan Freeman to do it. He was born to do voice work. So how do you get <laughs> on the short list? It's clearly the place to be. Once you're on the short list, everything presumably gets a lot easier, and it does. Your fees go way up. You're in demand. There's so much work, you have to turn it down. So how do you get on the short list? Well... The first thing you can tell yourself is, well, you got to be, it helps to be really, really good. That somehow it's, you know, it's meritocracy. Well, you're on the short list because you're really, really good. And there's probably a little bit of truth to that. It certainly doesn't hurt. Okay. You know, but I don't know. There's, uh, there's really good speakers that don't get picked that nobody's heard of. There's really good stories, really good blogs that nobody's reading. Okay. There's all kinds of incredibly talented people that are stuck on the margins, right? The funniest comedians don't make it to Saturday Night Live, right? Um, the best musicians who've written the most moving songs don't necessarily get played on the radio. We know this to be true, okay? Here's how you get on the short list. Certainly it doesn't hurt to have some talent. That's going to help, right? So you have to have some talent. There's no question. And some luck. A little bit of luck goes a long way. Meeting the right person goes a long way. But I've done blogs on luck before. You create luck by um, opening yourself up to opportunities that people who self-identify as unlucky don't. So you say yes to more chances where, you know, you allow for a little bit of fortune to come your way. So yeah, to get on the short list, you need to be good. For sure, you need some level of talent, absolutely. And a little bit of luck is going to go a long way too. But what you really need is persistence <laughs> okay to get on the short list you got to keep showing up you got to be good yes you got to get a little lucky that you create your own luck yeah 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 okay but then you got to be persistent you got to show up day after day doing the right work the right way for the right people that's how you get on the short list it's how you stay on the short list is to continue to do that work and it's most important to do that work when you're not anywhere near the short list. That's how you get on it. Every industry has a short list. Now, the way I'm gonna, what I'm going to leave you with to think about is this. Always work with people who are already convinced. Just be on the short list for now of the people that know and trust you. Continue to do your work for them as generously as you possibly can. Hone your craft. It won't be long before you're on the short list. Wherever you are in Blogland, have a great one. Take care. We hope you enjoyed the Serious Shift Blogcast. We would love any suggestions, feedback on topics, ideas, or challenges that may have you feeling stuck. 
Also, please leave a five-star review wherever you are enjoying this content. It helps Dennis out tremendously. On behalf of Dennis and the team, see you next episode. Thank you.